In this PowerPoint video, I want to cover uh, slide setups and printing. So, if you have an existing or even a new slideshow, you can set it up in, in a variety of ways. It doesn't need to be the default setting. The default setting is usually landscape, right? So your your page is kind of on its side. Um, if you go into design here, you have the ability to go to slide size, right? And then you can change from standard to widescreen, right? And then right away it'll ask you, do you want to maximize or do you want to ensure fit? Now, the problem with maximize is it will sometimes cut out some of what you wanted to show in your slide. Uh, ensure fit, everything's going to be a little bit smaller, but at least it will exactly that ensure the fit. So I, I tend to be like to go safe and ensure the fit here. So that way, when I run my presentation, I'm not cutting out any, anything out. So now go back to slide size and you can go to custom slide size from here. And uh, here it allows you to pick whatever size that you want, really. And it, you can even ask for a custom size if you wanted to do that. So you need to understand that you have the option and the ability to do all of those things. Uh, Next, uh, you can number your slides starting at whatever number you wanted to. I don't find myself using this very often, but you need to know. And here, of course, is whether you want your page to stand up, straight up, uh, or like it does in Word, or to go on its side. So that's, again, up to you. And next, it's asking, how do you want your notes pages, your handouts, and your outlines? Now, you'll notice the default for these are portrait. And uh, typically, when you hand out notes to people, that's what they that's what they expect, right? They want it to be uh, like a portrait style. So, if you're going to print out the notes, the handouts, and the outline, they're by default they're this way, but they don't need to be. They can be any way you want. And again, you can change in here what size you want them to be. So, you need to know that, and you need to know what that other window, uh, ensure fit or maximize, does. Now, falling right from here, we can go right into print now and talk about what are your printing options. So many printing options that you need to understand. Um, starting with, do you want to print all slides? Okay. Now, typically, if you're giving a PowerPoint presentation, you're not going to give a handful of pages to every single person to see every slide. I, I just rarely see that done. In this day and age, when you can send uh, and share PowerPoint presentations, uh, so typically when people are printing slides, uh, they can print uh, s current slide or they can print certain slides and just type the ones. Uh, however, typically what I, what I like to, what most people do is they come to this option here where instead of full page, all right, they'll include maybe the notes. Now, this is typically something you do for yourself. If you want a paper copy of what it is you're presenting, you would use notes, which is why you have notes in the first place. So you'll see a miniature version of your slide, and then you have notes that you typed for yourself. Uh, an outline eliminates the pictures and just includes the words in your presentation. Uh, that may be a, a, an intelligent thing to print out for people. Uh, but even more so, I see this a lot, where uh, I want you to see a miniaturized version of my presentation that you can take with you. So this allows you to fit up to nine slides of your presentation onto one page. And this saves an awful lot of paper uh, and printing, right? So um, you need to understand those options. So you may be asked to do any one of these things, okay? So print the notes, the outline, one slide per page, up to nine slides per page, vertical or horizontal. So understand that. Uh, there are different types of grayscale, so you can print them in grayscale, and that would save you an awful lot of uh, of, of paper, sorry, of, of ink and, and cost. Okay, so there are different types of grayscale. On the topic of grayscale, you can also, uh, from view here, you can also change the way you see this in different types of grayscale. Now. I haven't quite understood what the value of this is, but it's there, the ability to view things in grayscale. And then you can go back to color. Back to the print menu. Um, I forgot one little thing. When you're, when you're in this menu here, uh, you may have comments um, that you might have inserted when you ran your presentation. So let's say that you have your presentation, you run it, and as you're running it, you're, you're adding things to your presentation. We're going to learn how to do that down the road. Uh, you can put comments and you can put ink and all kinds of stuff. If you wanted to 
print that version of the presentation so that people remember what it is that was highlighted and talked about, you would have that ability. Now, because I haven't put any comments or ink mark markup, that option is not available, but had you done so, you can print the final copy of how your presentation came to be. And one other small option, if you watch the print preview here, if I choose to frame slides, it'll make a slight little difference. It'll put a little frame on your slide. So I'm going to click it now. And you see it just kind of framed your slide. Not a big deal. I've never really used that. But once again, you need to know what the possibilities are and where to find them. So almost all of your print settings are right in this menu. Pretty straightforward stuff. So uh, how to set up your slides and how to print uh, your presentations all in one.